Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can set up some basic functionality for when the player clicks your button on your main menu. So now what you should have at this point is a simple little button that you are able to click and it should have the different states for the normal state, the hovered state and also the press state. What we're going to be doing today is when you go ahead and click on this, we are going to get it to fire off a piece of code. And inside of Unreal Engine 4, this is really easy and really straightforward. And the reason why that is, is because Unreal Engine actually has a pre-built event for when the player clicks this button. So if we go ahead and select this button within our design view, what we can do from there is scroll down in the details panel all the way down to the bottom and you will notice we have some events. We've got events for on clicked, on pressed, on released, on hovered and on unhovered. So essentially what these can do and for those of you that know what an event is, an event is sort of something which is going to fire off a sequence of code. What we can do with this is when the player clicks on it, we just add the code for that. So if they need to open the level, we'll add the open level code to that. Um, if they want to change a character, then change the character code to that. But what you guys need to know is that you've got these different events. So you can fire off code when the player clicks the button or when they press the button or when they release the button or even just hovering over it. So if you wanna add a hover sound, for example, you can do it just like this. So what we're gonna do is start off by creating a simple little hovered sound. So on hovered, press the little plus icon to add this and you'll get this event. And now what you'll notice is that we actually have an event graph view and within here, we are able to use blueprints, the normal sort of visual scripting language within Unreal Engine to add some functionality to that button. So what I'm gonna tell it to do is once you've hovered over that button, I'm gonna drag out and tell it to play a sound. So drag out from the execution pin from that event and then we are going to tell it to play a sound. Now we've got play sound 2D and play sound location. The one that we're gonna work with is just 2D so it just plays anywhere. And then from here we can choose a little sound. Now bear in mind we haven't got much to work with so what I'm gonna do is just have a little clap sound. If I go ahead and compile this and then just open up my menu level if you haven't got it open already. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and save that and what we should have now is when you hover over it, it is going to play a sound. And you should be able to hear that. You might not be able to hear it coming through on my end because of the way my recording setup is, but what I can hear is that it is playing a sound. Now what we can also do, like I showed you before, if we go into a details panel, we can also create an event for when you click it. So I'm gonna do that to just press the little green plus here to create a event for when the button is clicked. And with this, what I'm gonna tell it to do is to simply use a print string to say, you have clicked the button. So this print string, all it's gonna do is just put a bit of text on the screen so we have a bit of feedback and we know that this button has been clicked. Compile this again, press play, hovered I can hear the sound, but when I click it, you can see it says in the top left hand corner, you have clicked the button. Now, if you guys want a better understanding of some of the different blueprint nodes that you can use to add that extra functionality within your user interface, like I said, I do advise that you go ahead and check out my blueprint series. The link for that is in the description. There is gonna be loads and loads of different things you are going to want to need to do inside of your user interface from loading levels to changing characters, changing settings. And that is where that blueprint series is going to help out. So hopefully you guys do have a better understanding now of how you can use buttons and set up some functionality. That is everything for today's video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out.
this video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.